Having my family prepared me for so many moments in life. This place right here, I call it the Wall of Fame. And at one point in time, believe it or not, I was never on the Wall of Fame. I remember when people used to ask, you know, what does Tyler have to do to be able to get on the wall? Papa John used to say, you got to do something spectacular. Getting out of middle school, everybody wanted to be able to come to Booker T. Washington to play, because this is where the legacy was at. Being the third locket after my dad and after my uncle, it was hard, but I kept going in their footsteps. Tulsa really shaped my life because, you know, when you look back at how you grew up and the things that you went through in life, the city that you grow up in is one of the best teachers that you could ever experience. Well, this is Reba Dale's. I look at this like museum part two. The house of the museum and my grandpa's is part one, and then this is part two. Literally before football games, before basketball games, we like come here to eat. Style is what I make it. I can rock anything. It's the person that makes it look good. I don't think clothes makes the person. I think the person makes the clothes. The faster that you're able to be comfortable and to be confident in yourself and just stick to what you do best and not what other people do, that's when you'll really be able to find your best. You know, the advice that my dad gave me was, you've been playing football your whole entire life, so just stick to what you do and just go out there and play your game. You can't control the unknown. You're gonna have bad games, you're gonna have tremendous games, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna remember the four interceptions, you're gonna remember that touchdown.